As one of the area's most established courses in Myrtle Beach, Eagle Nest Golf Club provides a classic golf experience situated just north in Little River, South Carolina. Originally designed in 1971, this Gene Ham design has stood the test of time and offers an enjoyable playing experience for everyone. Eagle Nest installed what they call the Perch Tees. These tee boxes can stretch the golf course out to over 8,000 yards. Eagle Nest also has a host of other tees that make the golf course enjoyable for every single skill level. Eagle Nest also recently just finished a bunker renovation that gave each bunker a very, very distinguished look. A good chance at birdie awaits you on the par 5 first hole. Be careful on the par 3 fourth. Marshland surrounds both sides of the screen. Any tee shot that goes too far left will find the 13th green. The par 4 eighth hole ranked as the second hardest hole in the entire golf course. A good tee shot that can split the gap will make it a lot easier to navigate. Since the renovation, the ninth hole has become a fantastic looking golf hole. The new waste area up the right side gives it that Pinehurst look and feel. The approach is slightly uphill, so make sure you take a little more club than you normally would. The back nine in Eagle Nest is where your bets are won or lost. I love this shot of the 10th hole. The 13th hole is everything you can handle when it comes to a par five. This dogleg left forces you up the right side, leaving what can be a lengthy second shot. The green is guarded perfectly by these four bunkers, but if you're gonna miss, miss there. Long right is the fourth green. The 15th is the last breather you really get before the final stretch. Make your par a birdie and strap in. Also, check out the bunkers on this hole. The 16th hole is a mammoth par four with trees lining both sides of the fairway. Just short of the green sits a waste area that runs alongside the small pond guarding the front left. If you go long, say a prayer that your ball finds one of those back bunkers. Your focus on the par 5 17th needs to come from about 120 yards and in. This false front will send any spinning wedge shot down a good 10 yards off the putting surface. It should go without saying here, but avoid the bunkers at all costs. The renovation of the bunkers really shows on the 18th hole. This uphill par 3 is one heck of a way to finish off your day. Enjoy all Eagle Nest Golf Club has to offer on your next Myrtle Beach golf trip.